Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Geeta. In this session, we will be discussing about the percentage problems. Evaluate 28% of 450 plus 45% of 280. So, first step is to find 28% of 450 and then we have to find 45% of 280 and then we have to just add both together. Add together. So, first step 28% of 450. So, to find this, what we can do is 28 whenever they say give a percent it means 28 by 100 of is times or multiplied by 450 try to simplify this and get the answer which is in short 0 0 gets cancelled always and look for the same multiple like for example, it ends with 0 and this is 5. So, which means these two can be simplified by 5 tables, which is 5 2 times 10 and 5 9 times is 45. And look at this, the ending number. This is 2 and this is 8. When a number ends with even number, then it is can be it is divisible by 2. So, 2 1 times and 2 14 times is 28. So, what is 14 times 9? 9 times 4 is 36, 9 times 1 is 9 plus 3, 10, 11, 12, so which is 126. Or the other method you can do is, I'll tell you for this one, which is 45% of 218. So the same thing can be done here, which is 45 by 100 times 218. Or you can also do it like this. The simple method would be 45 is nearest to 50. So we can find for 50%. 50% is nothing but half of this one. Half of 280 is 140. And then 5%, we have to look for 5%. So 5% can be found as, you can directly find for 5% the same method 5 by 100 into 280 or you can find for 10%. 10% is always 280 by 10 which is 28.0. So 10% will be like, just divide by 280 divided by 10. So 0, 0 gets cancelled. Or when you are dividing by 10, you can just keep a decimal point before one digit. So, which is 28.0 or you are just 28. So, then they are asking for 5% 5, 5 which is half of 10, which is 28. So, half of 10, half of 28 is 14. So, what you are going to do is, now they are finding for, 40, since we are finding for 45%, subtract 50 minus 5. 50 minus 5 is 45, therefore we are going to subtract these two, 140 minus 14, which is 6 and 2, 1, so 126. So we can just add these together, the question is 28% of 450 and 45% of 280, so 25% is 126 plus this one is 126, so we are going to just add 126 plus 126, which is equals 252. So you can follow any of these two methods to find the percentage of this amount. Now let's solve for this problem which is 16 2 by 3 percentage of 600 grams minus whenever they are given the units uh, make sure you add the units at the end of the answer too. So 33 minus 33 1 by 3 percent of 180 gram. So first we have to find 16 2 by 3 percent of 600 grams. So, second problem, 16, 2 by 3 percentage of 600 grams. So, it can be followed, the same steps can be followed. Whenever the mixed fraction is given, first convert it into improper fractions. So to convert it improper fraction, multiply this two and whatever the answer you get, add it to the numerator. So, here it is 16 times 3 is 48 plus 2 is 15, which is 50 by 3 percentage of 600 grams. So, same steps is applied here. So, which is 50 by 3, the whole divided by 100. When it is given as percentage, you have to just divide by 100. Of is times multiply. So, 600. So, this can be again written as 50 by 3 is in the denominator times 100 times 600. You can directly write it in the first step. Just I wanted to explain that's why I am writing with two steps. Mm, simplify this, so 0, 0 gets cancelled, 3, 1 times and 3, 2 times is 6 and 50, 50 times 2 is 100. Now we have to find the value of second, so which is second term, 33, 1 by 3 percent of 180 gram. So, 33, 1 third percent of 180 grams. 
So same thing, which is 33 times 33 is 99 plus 1 is 100. So 100 over 3 percentage of 180 grams. So here it is same thing again. So the, when it is set as percentage, you will be dividing by percentage. This is 100 by 3 times 100 of is multiplied with 180. So 100, 100 gets cancelled. 3, 1 times. 3, 6 times is 80. And the 0 goes here, which is 60. So which is equal 60. Now the question is, 1, 16, 2 by 3 percent of 600 minus 33, 1 third of 180. So we got this answer, which is 100. And this answer is 60. Now we have to subtract these two. So which is 100 minus 60 equals 40. Don't forget to mention the units, grams. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments.